Check What's good, out. YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go and hit that like button. Go and hit that subscribe button too, you feel me? And also, go ahead and turn on post notifications. Now, as you can see by the title, it might say we play the number one team in the 3v3 program. You know, we was out here playing comp teams in the program. This was our first time ever really playing program 3v3. And we was going crazy. I mean, we was going ridiculous. Nobody could stop us. We didn't even lose a game this night when I recorded this video in the Pro-Am. We played Pro-Am like 20 games. We only lost one game in the Pro-Am, and that's because I lagged. If I didn't lag, we would have never lost, and that's on everything. I ain't gonna lie, because we could kill them. I ain't gonna lie. The Pro-Am 3v3 might be easier than the park. I don't know why, but you see why your dude hit a step back off the first play of the game. I said, oh, wait a minute. Are we playing like that, huh? I said, I got to get in my bag. Okay, it's time for me to get in my bag then. So I told the squad, you know, it's time to get in the bag. He gave me the ball. You see me hitting him with a little hezzy, trying to do what I do. You see, I'm going to the paint. I hit my boy Pride out there for the three. Right now, we swinging the ball. We got good ball movement. My boy Caleb trying to get open, trying to get a shot off. You see, he end up pulling up, and he ends up missing. But you know, it's I do He gets the rebound. He hit our center, and we get the dunk. And right now, the score is two to three. We down by one right now. We thought these dudes was nice, but you know, they got to always run into the count. They run into the best of the best. We only play the best of the best over here. That's what we try to do. We try to make each other better, you know. But sometimes we lose. I mean, it's part of the game. But, hey, we can't do nothing about that. But as you can see right now, they get the ball to their center. Or our center ends up jumping. I don't know why he ends up jumping, but he does. And I told him to stop jumping. Like, I don't even know why he kept jumping on that. But, you know, man, it's all right, though. Because, you see, we got the ball right back. I hit my boy Kesby. He ends up pulling up, and he ends up missing that shot. And right now, we're down two to five. Now, you see, they end up pulling another fadeaway. He thought he was Kobe out here for real. Like, what was he thinking? Like, why is you pulling up from the three-point line like you like that, bro? Like, you're not going to try me like that. But, like, who is you fading on, bro? I'm a defender. I'm not going for none of that. And, you see, they end up fouling me on the fast break. They didn't want me to score. You already know I'm going to go get it at bucket. I'm going to get that bucket regardless. But you see my end up picking and popping out to the mid-range, pulling up easy. And right now the score is 4-5. to five. You know, I'm pressing ball. I'm the lockdown. That's what I do out here. You know, so you see him trying to go back to back. Me and my boy Caleb playing sides on it. He tries to step back trying to cut me, but I know all the moves and I end up putting him in a box. And they end up horsing over our center. Like, that's crazy. And right now the score is 4-7 to seven and we down by three. And now we just trying to keep the lead so we can end this game. You did, you know, we trying to end this game. You see your boy Caleb with a fake pass, Green B. You know what I'm talking about? And now the score is tied. Now we got to try to get a nice defensive stop to try to score again. You see, he end up hitting another fadeaway step back in my mid. Like, yo, when I tell you he was going crazy, bro. I mean, he was going crazy. And you see, they end up fouling us right there. I ain't even going to lie. Like, that's the most somebody has ever stepped back on me as a lockdown. and was just greening them, too. I mean, he was going crazy. I can't even hate on him. He was doing what he had to do to get the game over with. Now you see me, I'm trying to pull up. I end up pulling up a green bean in his mitt right back. Stop playing with me. Yeah, on a two-way playmaker. Like, come on now. Like, who you know doing this on a two-way playmaker like me? Come on now. It's your boy Greg. Go crazy. Yes, sir. You see me. And now the score is tied up. Now you see they end up trying to ISO our center. So our center ends up jumping, which we told him not to do. I still don't know. We just tell him, you just stay on your feet. If you just stay on your feet, I promise you, bro. You just stay on your feet. He won't have no problem, but he want to jump like a frog. I don't know what's wrong with him. Now, you see, we almost lose the ball. Caleb end up throwing me the ball. I'm out here trying to cook up, trying to ice. So, you see me, oh, excuse me, right back. I end up getting the dunk off. Now, the game is tied again. And the score is 12 to 12. All we need is one good defensive stop. And the game might be over with. It might be wraps. I ain't even going to lie to you. Now, you see, they run a little easy pick and run. Our center ends up picking up, and their center gets the board. But I end up getting the steal, and it goes out of bounds. Don't know how, don't know why. But we got eight seconds to clamp these boys up. Now, you see, he's trying to go left, right. You see, I'm already picking up and everything. My boy Caleb rotates, and their center ends up throwing the ball out of bounds on the tip, trying to get the rebound. I don't know why 2K does an animation, but they just do sometimes. Now, you see, we get the ball back. He end up hitting me. I hit the center. Our center hits Caleb again. We try to look easy, pick and roll, and they end up fouling us. 
Now you see I hit my boy Caleb with a screen. That boy Branson has the ball. He hit Caleb again. He pull up in this mint green bean. Stop playing with that boy. That boy got that burner on him and I got that burner on me too. I'm telling you, bro, we be out here shooting. Even though they always say, oh Greg, you can't shoot on your two-way play. Like, stop playing with me. It be cheating me sometimes. I ain't even gonna lie. Cause sometimes they do give me an early or a late glitch. I don't know why they do that on this play, but sometimes they just do. And it ain't nothing I can do about that, you know? But right now we're up 15 to 12. Now we trying our best not to get on up three. We playing the perfect defense. You see, he tries to shoot that over me. Uh-uh, buddy, that's a two-way playmaker kicking in. And I send a rotates and I end up cherry picking and can't get back in time to stop him from shooting the three. And he ends up greening it. Now the score is tied. All we need is six points to win the game. Either team just needs six points. That boy Caleb ended up pulling up. He ended up hitting me. I hit our and he ended up pulling up and he ends up missing. But luckily, I get the rebound. And that boy Caleb gets the ball back, end up pulling up and he misses. Now I get the ball and I hit Caleb with the dot and it's a green. Stop playing with my playmaking IQ just because I'm at the two guard. Don't mean I can't do the playmaking job too or run the point too. The only reason this build can't run points is because of silver unpluggable. Other than that, this play would be nice. I ain't even gonna lie. And the speed too. That's really it. That's the only thing about this player that can't run point guard. Other than that, this player go crazy. Right now, the score is 18-18. We just need a three to end the game. But you see me, I'm going to the rim and taking the dunk, which I shouldn't have took, but I did. And it ended up working out anyway because guess what? We're up by two now. All we got to do is stop them from getting the three. Now, you see me. He wasn't trying to. He wasn't about to dex me or do none of that. He wasn't about to throw the ball to the corner. I was reading. So, I just fouled him just to reset the offense, you know. Because we're not going for none of that switching. So, right now, we're playing heavy threes. Even though our center coming up on the threes. Now, you see. We, they got they in the box right now. I ain't even going to lie. Now, you see. They point guard trying to do. He end up throwing up a stupid shot. And I end up helping our center trying to get the rebound. And it ends up working out. So, we get our boy Caleb the ball. He gets open off the screen. Green bean. And just like that. We beat them boys 23 to 18. Now, I ain't even gonna lie, we was going crazy in this one. And this gameplay right here, I mean, we was going crazy. Like, I ain't never, like, I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna just let y'all watch the gameplay for y'all sales. Y'all gonna see, now you see me hitting the one, two, still little one, two. Ooh, yeah. Just look at the center. Hey, look, get down. Look, baseball hit out the park. Look at him. One, two. Yo, look at it. Now we in the little one, two, cha cha slide. I don't know what we talking about, but you know, we just doing what we do out here. Now you see these dudes out here hitting the worm. Like, bro, come on now. They hitting the worm. And like, what is this? The Harlem Shake, bro. What, who did the Harlem Shake? I ain't seen nobody do the Harlem Shake since 2K15. Or y'all remember the um one of my he did the Harlem Shake. That's the last time I remember seeing somebody hit the Harlem Shake. Like, come on, 2K. When the last time y'all seen somebody hit the Harlem Shake? But you see, I end up pulling up and I end up missing the first play of the game. And they end up fouling us. Now. I end up throwing a ball to Arsene, and he tries to baby him in the post, and he ends up getting the duck off, and the score is 2-0 to zero right now. The reason I put this gameplay in here because it's for an important reason. Now, you see them. They trying to do what they do. They point guard trying to ISO. He's not going for that. Now, look at me. They got my first steal. Easy. Cookies. Now, right now, it's Arsene a pump face and get the easy layup. Now, the score is 4 to zero. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did not expect for silver pickpocket to work better than a gold. Now, look. That's still number two. Count the steals. Now, I'm counting with y'all. That's still number two right there. We get the ball on offense. I said Caleb a screen. He ends up trying to cook him. He's not doing it. So, he ends up passing the ball or not. But he ends up passing the ball to us and he ends up passing it to me. And I pull up green bean in the corner. Now, the score is 7 to zero. Right now, I'm at two steals. Watch my steal count in the end of the game. Now you see him, I end up hitting the center with a little stupid. Now our center gets the block and I get the rebound. Now you see me trying to cook by hit Caleb. He ends up pulling up green bean. Yes, sir. The score is 10 to zip. We running it up on these boys real quick. Like this is ridiculous. Now you see he ends up trying to dribble the ball. I mean, now look, I'm, I'm getting still happy right now. But you see, they end up passing the ball and throwing the ball back court, and we end up getting the ball again. And the score is 10 to zip right now. I don't know why I flopped and our center had to pick me up, but hey, that's besides the point. But yeah, right now I'm at two to three. No, I'm at two steals right now. Watch, I'm in the half at the end of the game. Caleb ends up icing him, pull up, and he misses. Our center gets the ball, ends up getting the foul, and now we have the ball again. Caleb running the pick and roll, pull up, 
He hit a white. He ended up missing again. Don't know how, but you know, it's all right. Now you see me end up pulling up and somehow, like somehow they just made me airball that. Remember those glitches I was telling y'all about? Y'all can't see it because of my overlay, but it says early. That's what I be talking about. Sometimes, now look, they go still number three right there. Now, I don't know why they be giving me early. Sometimes it be making me mad, but Caleb end up pulling up and hits a white. Those early glitches really be making me mad because I be knowing my shot and they just glitch my player. Like, I don't know why they give me early and late jump shots. That's still in the game. Now, look, this is still number four. Now, you see me going to the right. Hey, yes, sir. 15 to zip. I'm at four steals right now with silver pickpocket. Five. Look at this. Hit that boy. Can we end up pulling up for the white and it's 18 to zip. Now, come on. I got five steals with silver pickpocket. This is crazy. Now look, he ends up throwing at my head. They ain't want to give me that steal. Now right now, I'm like, bro, I need one more steal. Now look, I end up getting the last. I'm at six steals. Now that boy Kelby ends up running, pulling up. Green bean game just like that. 21 to zip. Them boys did not score. And I had six steals. Look at the stat line. Five points, two rebounds, four assists, and six steals. Who you know doing that in the pro-am? Come on now. Not one, not two, not three, not even four, not even five, but six steals. Yo, that's crazy. I was going crazy on them, but that was not doing nothing in my passion lanes. I was not going for none of that. Now, as y'all can see, back then, this is when my boy, well, when I was level 25, trying to get level 26. I'm like a level 29 now, trying to hit level 30. Now, look, I'm not even gonna lie, that stat line was crazy. But yeah, man, that's all the gameplay I really got for y'all, man. If y'all like the video, go on to like the video up. Hit that subscribe button if you new and I'm out. Peace.